this is Brian Ierson, one of the trainers with the Computer Workshop. In today's tutorial, we're going to continue with Illustrator's graphing tool, and we're going to add graphics to our graph. We're going to talk about changing these columns to use symbols instead of using the solid black bar. Now, here again, you can right click on this and you could choose to bring up the design tab, but we don't have a symbol yet created. Now you can use symbols. So to access your symbols, you would go to window, locate the symbols. And in this case, I'm going to bring this out so it is free floating. The list of available symbol libraries, I'm just going to choose flowers. My new library panel opens. I can see what are available and I'm going to just choose this tall purple cone flower and I'm going to drag an instance of that symbol out onto my onto my document. Now I'm using a symbol but you could just as easily drag any drawing that you've created. So as an example loading in here also an image that I have drawn and saved before into my CC library. So it's basically anything that I've drawn. I'm using a symbol just because they are quick pre-drawn little elements here. We can work with either of these things. So starting with one of these two objects selected, we're going to go to object in the main menu. We're going to come down here and locate graph and bring up design. There currently are not any designs in this file. So we have the object selected and we simply tap new design. And you can see it captures this as a new possible design to be used in our graph. Clicking OK, we now have the first design. I can click on the other drawn image, object, graph, design. I'm going to go ahead and tap the new design button again and you will see that we have captured this as another design option. If you want you can consider selecting each and renaming them so that you have a little bit more clarity. But you probably will not generate more than one or two maybe three different designs to be used in your charts. You can only use one design per chart. So I'm going to go ahead here and click OK. And for the time being, I am going to just get my flowers and symbols panels out of the way. I'm going to come down and select the graph. Right click on this and choose column. So now here in column, we can decide which of our designs to use. So I'm going to choose the more colorful one. Actually, I'm going to use design two, the more woodcut looking rows. And vertically scaled is one of the options for the column types. Uniformly scaled, repeated, or sliding. I'm going to use vertically scaled here to test this out to begin with. And tapping OK, you can see it is stretching this little drawing in relation to the size or the quantity of the in any of these values. If we were to right click on this again and choose column, we can change our design. We can go ahead here and say, you know what, I would like this to be repeated or repeating, I should say. For each design repetition, I have to define the units. So I'm going to say that each instance of this design represents a value of 5. Clicking OK, we now have stacked little flowers. Now this does get a little odd when you come to the top and it's not a full value. It's also a little weird when you are looking here at the legend that it now runs sideways. So we have a few, you know, concerns to be aware of here. For the moment, I think we are good to go. 
So for the moment, I think we're good to go. I'm going to deselect everything, and then I'm going to just look at this for a moment and realize this is just not going to fly. So if I select this, you'll notice that it selects the entire graph. I could double click and get down to selecting that as its own element in isolation view and continue to double click on that until I get just this. And I'm going to just take the easiest route possible. So I'm going to double click out of that view. I'm going to use my direct selection tool. So that is the A keyboard shortcut. And I'm going to select just this one element from within the chart, or I should say graph. Now I can switch to my rotate tool. So I'm going to just tap the letter R on my keyboard and I'm going to rotate this object to make it stand where I want. A back to my selection tool and I'm going to reposition that a little bit in relation to my text for my legend. And then V back to my regular selection tool and I'm going to click to deselect. So that kind of gives a little bit of an introduction to working with your graphing tools. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you found it useful and helpful, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and you can find out more information about our company and upcoming courses at TC Workshop. Dot com. Until next time, take care for now.